Hello and assalamualaikum guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to open a file and we are going to be using uh, two ways. So basically, we are going to learn two ways of opening a file. Number one, we are going to create our own user form and we are going to try to open file. And number two, we are going to use the file dialog method or file dialog that is available in Excel and we are going to try to open it using that. So let us get started. First of all, I am going to create a form. First of all, we are going to go in here and then click on initialize when the form starts. We are going to add a couple of items in here. We're going to say with CBO file extension and with and in here we're going to say dot add item and we're going to name the item as dot XLSM and we're going to add another item with the extension of dot XLSX two extensions for now and we're gonna go back click on the open file in here we're gonna write So in here, basically, I have created three uh, variables: file path, file name, and extensions. Of course, this is not a powerful way of uh, uh, opening file, uh, but we are opening it from a specific place that is or from desktop only, and we are uh, specifying the extension, and we are specifying the file name, and we are saying the file path. So this is the location of the file where it is available. So this is the file path so it is available in Dex on desktop and the name of the file is uh, test and the extension is xlsx so they all come together and they give us uh, the path and then say test.slx so desktop test dot slxx so let us open this now we have file name we are going to name the file as we're going to open the file called test and we are good and it has extension called SS XLSX. Okay, we're gonna open the file. It says we cannot update some of the links, means the file has been opened. Let's say continue. Let's go back, and as you can see, the file has been opened. Okay, so this was the first way and the stupid way we can say, and the easier way, whatever you want to say. This is the this was the first way. The second way is better way and actually this is using something like we use in our file system to open files similar to this. It's going to be similar to this. So we want to achieve how to open like Excel does. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for that we're going to come back in here and just remove these two. First thing first I'm going to say dim ft file directly as uh, office dot file dialog now once we have opened it we have to initialize it we're gonna say fd set fd equals application dot file dialog and we're gonna say because we want to open the file we're gonna say file dialog file picker and that's all so first of all, let us see how to show the file, uh, show this uh, file picker. We're going to say with fd and with, and we're going to say fd.show means show me the file dialog using which I can open the files. If I click on here, I see the file dialog open and this is good. Now I come back. After that, after that, now we want to select a file. So if the if it is short if it has been short if uh, fd dot show uh, i'm stupid if i use width why should i use f dot fd dot okay dot show equals minus one and then else 
and if well if we don't actually need else part we only need and if now we need to declare a new variable when I say dim uh, file name not find name file name as string so we're gonna say file name is equal to dot did items and we're gonna choose the items which I have selected of course I am gonna disallow means not allow multi select so I'm gonna say dot multi select is equal to false because I don't want any multi select to be done if then the multi select are being done we are gonna face some problems if I select something and a file is selected First of all, let's say message box and the name of the file, file name, because all we are doing from this whole code is just bringing the name of the file. We're going to select this, uh, okay, any file would work in case, in this case, let me check .png and I'm going to say, okay, so it's going to give me the location and everything, including its extension. Okay. Now let me close this and come back in here instead of just message box I am gonna say workbooks dot open and I'm gonna open the file name of course there is more to it there is the filters and there is a lot of stuff in here but for now for just opening a file this is really just what you need this simple code this code of couple of lines okay let us try it and we're gonna open something called let's say metro x and let's open this password is required okay so and because it was a password product file I couldn't open it let's try another file which is not password protected of course and uh, my first tutorial xlsm i'm going to open it up and as you can see this file has been opened my first tutorial dot xlsm and i don't want to close this i only want to close my first tutorial and i'm going to come back so guys that was all this is a way to open files using VBA and I'll see you in the next tutorial please make sure to like subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next tutorial